ਜਿੰਦੇ ਨੀ ਕੀ ਕਾਰੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਆਪੇ ਆਸ ਦੇ ਚੋਲੇ ਪਾੜੇ ਆਪੇ ਬਹਿ ਕੇ ਸੀਤੇ ਜਿੰਦੇ ਨੀ ਕੀ ਕਾਰੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਜਿੰਦੇ ਨੀ ਤੱਕ ਚੇਤ ਵਿਸਾਖਾਂ ਤੂੰ ਫਿਰਦੀ ਐ ਮੈਲ ਕੁਚੈਲੀ ਦੱਸ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਆਖਾਂ ਜਿੰਦੇ ਨੀ ਦੱਸ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਆਖਾਂ ਜਿੰਦੇ ਨੀ ਕੀ ਕਾਜ ਕਮਾਏ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਤੂੰ ਰੰਗ ਸਹੇੜੇ ਰੂਹ ਦੇ ਮੇਚ ਨਾ ਆਏ ਜਿੰਦੇ ਨੀ ਕੀ ਹੋਣੀਆਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਜਿੰਦੇ ਨੀ ਕੀ ਹੋਣੀਆਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਇਸ਼ਕੇ ਦੇ ਘਰ ਰਹਿ ਕੇ ਅੱਖੀਆਂ ਨਾ ਹੱਸੀਆਂ ਨਾ ਰੋਈਆਂ ਜਿੰਦੇ ਨੀ ਛੱਡ ਰੋਣਾ ਧੋਣਾ ਜਿੰਦੇ ਨੀ ਛੱਡ ਰੋਣਾ ਧੋਣਾ ਕਰਨੀ ਭਰਨੀ ਇਸ ਜਹਾਨੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਣਾ ਕਰਨੀ ਭਰਨੀ ਇਸ ਜਹਾਨੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਣਾ ਸੋ ਦੋਸਤੋ ਅਫਜ਼ਲ ਸਾਹਰ ਦੀ ਇਸ ਰਚਨਾ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਫੇਰ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਨਿੱਘਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਹਫਤੇ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਸੰਦ ਕੀਤਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਆਗਾਜ਼ ਕਰਨ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦਾ ਇਸ ਨਵੇਂ ਗੀਤ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮਿਊਜ਼ਿਕ ਇਜ਼ ਦੀ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸੀਅਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਸੇਂਟਸ a communion of the soul with the eternal the most magnificent of gifts bestowed on man it is also a unifying factor between people and people people of this country of this state and people of the world and this shows best in the fusion of the music of the east and west the fusion of the music of punjab and western popular music as we see in our program today
for high quality, fully customizable windows and doors for your next project? Come visit Durable Windows and Doors, where it's all about you. We value service, style, and innovation, and we'll work closely with you to help your vision come to life. With two convenient locations in Edmonton, our team will ensure your new windows and doors encourage friends and neighbors to take notice. Visit a design gallery today or schedule an in-home consultation. Call us at 1-800-544-3815 or visit our website at durabiltwindows.com. नवा या पुराना कार या कोई कारोबार बेचना या खरीदना होवे ता रियल्टी एग्जीक्यूटिव पुलारिस ते हरजीत संधू नाल गल करो प्रोसेमन विश्वास पात्र ते कावल पिछले 12 साल तो अपनी कम्युनिटी दी सेवा कर रहे ने बिल्डर्स तो नवा कर खरीदन ते मॉर्गेज वगैरह ले भी थोड़ी पूरी तरह सहायता कर सकते ने अपने कार दी फ्री मार्केट इवैल्यूएशन ले आज ही हरजीत संधू नु फोन करो 780-233-3100 या फिर विजिट harjitsandhu.com अपने सपने आदे कर दी चाबी लो हरजीत संधू तो पाजी ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਏ ਹੋ ਨਵੇਂ ਤੇ ਟੈਕਸ ਭਰਨ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਟੈਕਸ ਪਰਪਸਸ ਲਈ ਸਿਰਫ ਕੇਪੀ ਅਕਾਊਂਟਿੰਗ ਵਾਲਾ ਕੋਲ ਹੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਲੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਕਾਲ ਆਈ ਯੂ ਸੈਟੀਸਫਾਈ ਨਾ ਇਟਸ ਮੋਰ ਦੈਨ ਇਨਫ ਕਪਿਲ ਜੀ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਦ ਬੈਸਟ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਕਪਿਲ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤੇ ਕਮਾਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ You are one of the best accountants I've ever found. KP Accounting and Tax Services da pata hai 9218 34th Avenue te phone number 7804692677. Car accident, immigration da koi bhi kaam hove, tusi kise bhi kism di property khareedni ya bechni hove, bharose jog te syane, barrister te solicitor Sarjan Luthra Hora nu hamesha yaad rakho. Tuadi koi bhi kanuni samasya layi tusi apne Sarjan Luthra nu hamesha yaad rakho. In case ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ तो ਸਾਡੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੋਵੇ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਐਟ ਯਰ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਕਾਲ ਮੀ ਐਨੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਮਾਈ ਫੋਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਇਜ਼ 7804664660 ਮੇਰੀ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਰਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਕਲਾਇੰਟਸ ਨੂੰ ਸੈਟੀਸਫਾਈਡ ਤੇ ਖੁਸ਼ ਦੇਖਾਂ ਜੀ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀਆਂ ਸਮੱਸਿਆਵਾਂ ਦਾ ਹੱਲ ਲੂਥਰਾ ਲਾ ਆਫਿਸ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਪਾਹਰ ਡੈਂਟਲ ਗਰੁੱਪ Pahar Dental Group is a general dentist clinic that is located on both the north and south sides of Edmonton. We provide services such as wisdom teeth extraction, teeth whitening, braces, dentures, and implants. We are open 7 days a week and on evenings as well. At Pahar Dental Group, we would love to make your smile the best it can be. सुनो 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 एडमिंटन तो दिल्ली जान वाले ले मिलवु ट्रैवल वलो धमाकेदार ऑफर जे तुसी दिल्ली जा रहे हो ता आज ही मिलवु ट्रैवल वाले नु 780 244 32 22 ते फोन लाओ और अपनी लोएस्ट प्राइस टिकट बुक कराओ गारंटीड लोएस्ट प्राइस पर ए ऑफर सीमित समय ले है हफ्ते दे 7 दिन खुले हन ते इना कुल 24 घंटे स्पेशल सर्विसेज इमरजेंसी टिकट्स ले देर ना करो ते फोन करो मिलवु ट्रैवल 7802442 with an important update that impacts everyone who has a loved one in a continuing care facility in Alberta. Limited supply delayed this step until now particularly recent cancellations of Moderna uh, doses. Minister Shandra will have more to say on this in a second but I just want to say that I'm glad Alberta is able to offer vaccines to these hard working people who contribute so much to our entire country's essential food supply system. We will will not stop until every Albertan who wants the vaccines get them. The sooner we're all immunized, the sooner we can get past the pandemic. Every day, more of our most vulnerable friends and neighbors are protected, and every day we get closer to life returning to normal. Uh, hi Premier, uh just regarding uh the commuter camp issue, many out of town workers in commuter camp never see Fort McMurray. Right. A lot of them are flown in or they're bus directly to the camps for their shifts and then they just leave. Uh Alberta Health has also told local media that local cases in the daily updates uh don't include out of town residents. So to clarify, are you saying a lot of this local spread comes from contact between commuters and local residents at these sites? 
No, Vince, that's uh, not what I said, and nor is it what I intended to say. I do. I think you're you're absolutely right in characterizing um, the flow of, of workers to a lot of those camps. Um, I believe, uh, and I'll double check and stand to be corrected, Tyler, if I'm mistaken on this, but I believe that the numbers that we report for the local geographic area uh, include everybody, whether they are permanent residents of Fort McMurray, whether they are uh, itinerant workers in the RM, or whether they are Indigenous members of First Nations reserves, for example. So uh, the, those figures don't make a distinction, and I acknowledge that there's not uh, a, a lot of... Um, uh, transmission between the uh, the city and and some of those work camps. What I was characterizing is I, I was briefed uh, by our public health folks that uh, there had been some outbreaks in some camps uh, where it appears that there was after hours socializing without masks and without following the basic uh, uh, public health guidelines. And so we're reaching out uh, to work with the employers and the work camp operators to make sure that they do everything they can to and see to see that those rules are respected. After Ontario Premier Doug Ford promised one of the best paid sick day programs in North America, Watton TV brings a report. The provincial government announced on Wednesday that workers who have been impacted by COVID-19 will be able to access three paid sick days. Billed as the Ontario COVID-19 Worker Income Protection Program, officials told Watton TV it will be administered by the WSIB and the provincial government will reimburse 100 percenter of the employee's wage for up to $200 a day. The start of the pandemic, we've had workers' backs. We had their backs when Premier Ford negotiated with Prime Minister Trudeau a $1.1 billion fund for paid sick days last summer. We had their backs when we advocated to Ottawa for workers to have repeat access to the federal program, faster payments, and 20 paid sick days instead of 10. And we've got their backs again now. With the new variants of concern, workers in Ontario need more support now than ever before in our fight against this deadly virus. At the start of this pandemic, Ontario was the first to introduce unlimited job-protected leave so that nobody had to choose between their health and their job. And today, I'm pleased to introduce the Ontario COVID-19 Worker Income Protection Benefit. With the federal government indicating their openness to double payments through their program, we are stepping up to fill these gaps. We are the first in the country to double payments for the federal sick days program. With this new additional provincial funding, workers could now receive a total of $1,000 a week for four weeks. Make no mistake, Ontario workers now have access to the most generous sick pay program coast to coast. A persistent gap in the federal program is that workers must miss half of their work week to qualify. To fix this, our government will also lead the way by introducing the COVID-19 Putting Workers First Act. Through this bill, we are the only province in Canada to introduce paid sick days specific to COVID-19. If passed, all workers will soon have access to three paid sick days. This is more than the one day available to workers in Prince Edward Island and the two days available to workers in Quebec. This is a game changer and this will save lives. Officials also announced the provincial government program will see a $500 top up to the Canada Recovery Sickness Benefit, CRSB, program. Workers who are sick or are experiencing symptoms, who need to get vaccinated or have COVID-19 related mental health issues will qualify for the benefit. The program, which is expected to cost between $750 million and $1.5 billion, will end on September 25. ਨਵਾਂ ਜਾਂ ਪੁਰਾਣਾ ਕਾਰ ਜਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਕਾਰੋਬਾਰ ਵੇਚਣਾ ਜਾਂ ਖਰੀਦਣਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਤਾਂ ਰੀਅਲਟੀ ਐਗਜ਼ੈਕਟਿਵ ਪੁਲਾਰਿਸ ਤੇ ਹਰਜੀਤ ਸੰਧੂ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਕਰੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੇਮਨ ਵਿਸ਼ਵਾਸ ਪਾਤਰ ਅਤੇ ਕਾਬਲ ਪਿਛਲੇ 12 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਬਿਲਡਰਸ ਤੋਂ ਨਵਾਂ ਘਰ ਖਰੀਦਣ ਅਤੇ ਮੋਰਗੇਜ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਪੂਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰ ਦੀ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਮਾਰਕੀਟ ਵੈਲੂਏਸ਼ਨ ਲਈ ਅੱਜ ਹੀ ਹਰਜੀਤ ਸੰਧੂ ਨੂੰ ਫੋਨ ਕਰੋ 780 233 3100 
ਜਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਵਿਜ਼ਿਟ harjitsandhu.com ਆਪਣੇ ਸੁਪਨਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਘਰ ਦੀ ਚਾਬੀ ਲਓ ਹਰਜੀਤ ਸੰਧੂ ਤੋਂ Sandeep Furniture has been an Edmonton staple for over 25 years, exclusively selling custom furniture brands like Ashley, Serta, Sealy. We are able to offer you high quality products at amazing prices. We will meet or beat any advertised price. Visit us online at sandeepfurniture.ca. Follow us on Facebook or check us out in person at our massive showroom located at 9908 65A. Uh, to match the sizes that are on site, uh, to match the hinge locations, the lock locations, so that the fit up is easy and uh, it makes it easier for the installer to put the doors into existing jams that are on the houses already. I love in Minton, I want to stay in Minton and we want to help the community and plus Canadian stuff. But definitely we're, uh, we're getting bigger out there and this is kind of our niche to do these custom projects and make everything look fancy. People, lots of people love it, people said oh, that's why name is Fancy Doors. Major Kelly Brennan delivered stunning testimony to the Parliamentary Committee investigating allegations of sexual misconduct against former Chief of the Defence Staff General Jonathan Vance. Definitely, he gave me very many consequences if I was not following his orders. Talking to Watton TV, Brennan says Vance told her he was untouchable and that he owned the military police. The CDS told me he was untouchable. General Vance always told me that he always had them under control. She also said he fathered two children with me. Now a former key aide to the Prime Minister is shedding light on what Justin Trudeau's office knew about the allegations. The important, sensitive and unusual nature of this matter was immediately obvious to me, even in the absence of any details regarding the allegation. Of course, uh, lots of things we need to uh, add to and create better processes for, uh, but uh, that is something we continue to work on. In a news conference, Trudeau insisted nobody in his office at the time knew that it was a Me Too complaint, and that they did not have information on what was the nature of the complaint, of that allegation. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was grilled again on disturbing sexual misconduct allegations made against former Chief of Defence Staff General Jonathan Vance in 2018. He either isn't being straight with Canadians, Mr. Speaker, or his Chief of Staff, chose to cover it up and keep him in the dark. Will he fire his Chief of Staff? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, yet again, the Conservatives won't let uh, the facts get in the way of a good political argument. The uh, official opposition uh, needs to stoop to uh, the level of disgusting personal attacks uh, is yet another example of uh, the loss they feel of being even slightly relevant at a time when there is a pandemic where the solutions are based on science, at a time where a government, go a government has de de demonstrated through a budget that we are there for Canadians, all they can do is sling mud. The Honourable Deputy Leader of the Opposition. Oh, now the Prime Minister is the victim. Give me a break. The fact is the Prime Minister and his government covered up serious allegations of sexual misconduct against the Chief of the Defence Staff, and now he's covering up his cover-up by saying he didn't know. It's just not believable. What's believable is this. The Prime Minister only pretends to be a feminist when, in fact, he's at the top of the old boys' club. Just a wink and a nudge. Don't worry, boys. Your secret is safe with him. Isn't that the truth? It is interesting to see the Conservatives continue to complain about a process that they themselves used uh, in 2015. At the end of the day, it is very clear that the Prime Minister knew about the allegations against General Vance. But what we want to know is what is the Prime Minister going to do now? Right now, the message being sent to women in the Canadian forces is if you raise a complaint, and even if it makes it to the highest level, nothing gets done. That will send a chilling message to women across this country and currently sends a message that women are not safe in the Canadian forces. So what is the Prime Minister going to do? Will he let the minister that allowed this to happen remain? Will he bring in place some accountability? What will this Prime Minister do to protect women in the Canadian forces?
The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, anyone who serves in our military and indeed works in any office or any workplace across this country deserves to have uh, the supports and resources if they come forward with allegations or concerns and indeed should be in a workplace free uh, from harassment or intimidation. The Prime Minister is the most powerful man in the country. Rather than standing for women in the face of serious allegations of misconduct against General Vance, the Prime Minister has reinforced an entrenched and toxic military culture. His inaction has emboldened the military old boys and denied women the opportunity to be believed. If the PM had known about the allegations against General Vance, would he have removed him? Mr. Speaker, it is incredibly important that we create a system that we don't have at this point. Even with all the improvements that have been made, we need to ensure that anyone who uh, has been affected uh, by misconduct, uh, by sexual assault, by harassment, is able to come forward uh, in all comfort and engage in a proper process that will lead to consequences. We simply do not have that right now, Mr. Speaker, and uh, we have worked very hard to ensure that there are processes in place, but we know there is more to do, and we will be announcing more extremely shortly. A 54-year-old Montreal woman has died due to developing a blood clot in her brain after receiving the AstraZeneca vaccine, marrying it the first the death related to a COVID-19 vaccine in Canada. If we knew that she was going to do it, we would not give her the vaccine, but it's impossible. But I don't regret because we are sure we are preventing more deaths and more complications of the disease, even with that vaccine. Quebec's health officials are not budging on the current vaccine strategy despite new developments, insisting the vaccine's benefits continue to outweigh the rare risk. But with only four cases of rare complications from the 400,000 AstraZeneca shots administered in Quebec. So far, so far, within 400,000 of AstraZeneca, we have less than four cases. So we are within those numbers. So it, it's really unfortunate and we need to be very clear about that. But I think that's the price to pay to be vaccinated and to be going back to a normal life at one point in time. The risk remains very low for getting a blood clot. Watton TV brings a report about India continues to battle a surge of COVID-19 infections that's overwhelming its hospitals and dwindling much needed medical supplies like oxygen. My father is in a very critical condition. I'm getting no help. Numbers are given there, but nobody's responding. Numbers are not reachable. Please help me, please. My father is dying. I can't afford another loss. I, yesterday I lost my younger brother. When you start to hear that hospitals are running out of oxygen, which if you run out of oxygen, uh, you know, you're going to be unable to care for even the most basic COVID patient who comes into hospital, you get very concerned. The country is now fast approaching over 200,000 deaths from the coronavirus amid several countries already promising to send help. It's very concerning. It's very concerning for me right now, and I'm full with the stress. With the help of international community, I think that's the only way um, to fix it. Otherwise, it's going to be spread to the whole world. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is now pledging $10 million in aid from Canada to India through the Red Cross. This will support everything from ambulance services to buying more PPE locally. The new promises have not stopped a number of Indian Canadians from worrying for their loved ones enduring the deepening crisis there. Looking for high-quality, fully customizable windows and doors for your next project? Come visit Durable Windows and Doors, where it's all about you. We value service, style, and innovation, and we'll work closely with you to help your vision come to life. With two convenient locations in Edmonton, our team will ensure your new windows and doors encourage friends and neighbours to take notice. Visit a design gallery today or schedule an in-home consultation. Call us at 1-800-544-3815 or visit our website at durabiltwindows.com.
uh, to match the sizes that are on site, uh, to match the hinge locations, the lock locations, so that the fit up is easy and uh, it makes it easier for the installer to put the doors into existing jams that are on the houses already. I love Edmonton, I want to stay in Edmonton and we want to help the community and plus Canadian stuff. But definitely we're, uh, we're getting bigger out there and this is kind of our niche to do these custom projects and make everything look fancy. People, lots of people love it. People said, oh, that's why my name is Fancy Doors. Montreal's Jewish General Hospital where doctors say everyone, no matter their age, needs to take COVID-19 seriously. Wadden TV brings a report. So he's, you know, came in and has responded quite nicely to our therapy. So what we saw was uh, the amount of oxygen we needed to give him came down. And really the major thing is just looking at that trajectory. We've been doing this consistently for over a year now, which is exhausting. We're all kind of tired of it. We're hoping that the third wave is the final wave. It all depends on how effectively we can get the vaccine into people. How to remain positive in life. A report from Wadden TV. Helen Juzik. 84, has called Calgary's community of Bridgeland, Alta home for almost 35 years. I felt like a bird in a cage. I felt so, what I'm going to do? But once the COVID-19 pandemic hit, she felt lonely and isolated in her home. I didn't realize that it would be so, so meaningful to so many people, that it would spread like a virus. As a people person, she craved connection. I never would dream that something like that would happen to me because when I was young, I was very introverted. I was very shy. Somehow I survived and now I, that's why I can't believe that's me. I can cry with, as I said, with the goodness of a heart and with the, to thank God, you know, what he can do. Only God can arrange something like that. Her daily routine includes one hour to spread joy to her neighborhood. Hello, handsome. Good to see you. We're missing each other. We're, we're missing hugs and have hugs for a long time. And then I saw Helen and I felt like I, I got the hug I needed. To me, it was a ray of sunshine in a really tough year for everybody. So it's just a joy to see her out there every day. Hello. Hi, beautiful. There she is, this little woman full of love. And it's not about her. It's about, you know, her hugs and, and her way. She went out to find happiness and discovered she had something extraordinary to give. Every day, she stands at an intersection near her home giving countless strangers good wishes and tells them, I love you. So, friends, this is our Aida Evatan TV program. I hope that you will like this program. The next week, we will talk about the fair side. 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 We will talk about the email address. वतन टी वी कैनेडा एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम अगले हफ्ते फिर सही रब रखा फिर से गाँव में लौटेगी हसी फिर से शहरों में रौनक आएगी ना होगी पाबंदी ना रोक ही कोई इसे साथ सारे यार होंगे ना बांटेंगे हम खुशियां गम 